For the video I'm going to be showing you how to connect a hardware th synthesizer such as this one I've got here, my Innovation Base Station, but the principles will apply to pretty much any hardware synthesizer you've got out there uh, and then how to connect that into a computer or laptop such as this one right here and then how to play it and record it in your digital audio workstation. I'll be using Ableton Live in this demo but you can apply the same principle to pretty much anyone out there. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel for many more tips and tricks videos on how to record music in your home studio. So if we look at the back of my synthesizer here, I've got a series of inputs and outputs. But first things first, I'm going to need a way to get power to it. So here I'll be using the USB cable, which comes with this synth, and I'm sure many other ones out there have the same. Uh, I'll be getting the power from the USB by connecting it straight into my laptop here. There was also a power supply, a 9 volt uh, plug that you can use to just power it on that way. And many other synthesizers work in the same way, but I'll just be using the USB to get power here. Uh, and if we look, we can see that the display is now on and there's a series of flashing lights, which means that it's now turned on. It now has power. So we need a way to get that audio signal out of this synthesizer which is now powered on and into the laptop so i've just got a standard quarter inch jack cable here which you may know as a, an instrument cable or, or a guitar cable available on amazon or from any music shop and i'm going to plug that into my line output on the back of here so you can see it says there line output there'll be similar type outputs on all synthesizers out there that aren't MIDI keyboards that are capable of producing audio signals themselves. So look out for something similar to that on your synthesis. So as I said, that's an audio signal coming out of there, but the computer can only understand a digital signal. So this is an audio interface here, uh, which you may or may not have heard of, or you may or may not own. Uh, and it converts that audio signal coming out of the keyboard and into a digital signal as your computer can understand. So I've plugged in there into that audio interface into the first channel. And then on the back, we've got a, again, one of these USB firewire type connections, which is how I will connect that audio interface to my laptop and the signal will get sent down there. So I'm all connected up now. I've connected the synth to the audio interface using a quarter inch jack cable that's going into one of the inputs on my audio interface. Uh, the synth is turned on using power via USB and then the audio interface is connected to my laptop using the USB connection there as well. So everything's connected up. We just need to go into our DAW now so I'm in Ableton Live here and uh, to get that to work we need to go into our preferences so if I go to the top of my Mac here you'll see you just click on live and preferences it's in a very similar place on Windows you'll be able to find it on here if it doesn't come up already on this left hand side you want to click on audio and this is where we select our audio input device. So at the moment, there's no device. So you won't hear anything. That's why it won't work. So I need to click on that and change it to Scarlet 2i4 USB. So whatever your audio interface name is, that should appear in this drop down list here. You select that. I also want to hear the sound coming out of my speakers. So audio interface there as my output as well. I had my speaker cables, as you saw before, connected into the back of the audio interface so I can use it as an output. You could select the built-in output, so your laptop speakers or anything you have plugged into your laptop headphone out would be where you would hear it. So depending on where you want to hear your sound, you need to make sure you've got something selected, otherwise you'll hear nothing. So I want that. So both of those are selected. I can click out of preferences. Now, I can see if I, so I've got the synth, because I've got this microphone plugged into the first channel, it's the synth that's plugged into the second channel. So if I here on this little drop down here, we want to make sure we've got the right channel selected. So wherever you plugged it into your audio interface, that's what channel you want to have selected here. So because it's in my second channel, uh, 
as you can see here the orange cable going into the second channel there so the second from the left channel two Make sure i've got channel two selected here once that's selected if i press some keys on the synth you'll see a little green bar there next to the two light up which means there's a signal being registered what i need to do then to record is to do something called arming the track so i need to press this little circle which is a record symbol here that'll arm the track and then we're ready to record and i should be able to hear if i turn up my speakers the sound now coming through my speakers pretty cool bass sound there from the bass station and if you want to record this is in live you've got two views you can either record in clips and build up loops and clips and scenes there or you can record in a traditional way with your different tracks here so if i just wanted to record there i just simply click on the record you can see the it's registering you can see that it's therefore you know it's recording i'm not playing anything Nothing's coming through, but then I start playing. And I can obviously turn up the level to make it louder, too loud, or down to make it quieter on the audio interface. And there you go. If you followed all those steps and you're still having issues with connecting or it's still not working, then please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to help you out but I think that that should work for pretty much everyone. If you want to see any videos of me connecting a synthesizer to a different DAW or to a free, uh, some free software, if you haven't got Ableton Live, then also let me know in the comments. Or if you've got any questions whatsoever that you want answering, let me know. Um, as I said before, please like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you for the next video.